Bark, 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 bark. Checking here. Bring you another Boom Beach episode. Uh, so right now, guys, uh, what the plan is going to be, I think, I'm going to dive in and try to finish off uh, Alamo here. And uh, then we're just going to do a little magic jump splice cut. Uh, basically, I'm just going to pause the video and then wait for the next operation and do that one. Uh, we might go through Hammerman or something uh, while we, while we uh, after we do this, but uh, I'll say uh, <clears throat> let the guy let uh, let let the chicken crew know here uh, about to jump in, jump into Alamo, and we'll see what uh, what kind of ruckus we can we can stir up. We'll we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll wrestle for some feathers for sure in the chat before uh, before we dive in, guys. That's what it's all about. It's all about wrestling feathers. So, anyways, um. As we saw before, these rock launchers, uh, excuse me, will not be in range. We got to be worried about this shock launcher. These two, 6,000, 13,000. I think we can get that with two artilleries. <clears throat> and um, I think the plan is going to be to get right up into these sniper towers once we clear out this, this, and this. Uh, that mortar is going to be in the range too, though, eh? Um, so I think we're just gonna have to keep shocking the shock launcher. There's no mines down here, I know. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna keep shocking the shock launcher. Clear those two with the uh, artillery. Uh, keep the machine guns shocked. Not really worried about anything else. Uh, I might throw a batch of critters up here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna throw a batch of critters right, uh, right about here in front of these boom cannons. So that should distract the mortar. And, uh, and the sniper towers, a couple of them as well. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're just gonna clear and then reflare. Uh, if we don't get it, it's fine. We got plenty of attacks left. Uh oh, oh no, not uh, not this again. This is the guy last time that jumped into the attack before uh, before we got a chance to go in. Uh, I am going to boost health. Uh, I noticed in my last uh, operation video, I forgot to boost the health. Um, it didn't make a difference because I didn't really get touched by anything. But um, it's just something I typically uh, would recommend doing. Uh, even if you're just using all Zookas, it does help for sure. I was going to check to see if two artillerys was the exact number. I think they do over 6,000 damage though. Uh, I guess not. Oh, maybe it's 4,000. I think it's 4,000 damage, yeah. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to flare up. And uh, we want to take those machine guns. We want to shock the shock launcher. And we're going to try to critter the mortars away. That's basically going to be the plan, guys. Chicken, you go up there. Back, back, back. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Eh, kind of a sloppy landing, but that's fine. So we're going to go right about there. Uh, hopefully the shock launcher doesn't get us. Alrighty. So we're making our way up, guys. We're making our way up. And we've got to be a little cautious of the smoke timing here. There's a lot of stuff that's going to kill us instantly. Okay, so we're in pretty good position, I think. Um, we basically just want to kill everything that's around us uh, at this point here. So I'm going to throw the critters out a little early. And I'm going to shock there, I'm going to shock there. Shock was a little early, but that's okay. And throw more critters out because we got the uh, we got the space for them. Uh, we're gonna reshock those machine guns. We're gonna throw some more critters down, and we're gonna be flaring. Um, I want to take out that sniper tower. Oh shoot! I missed the. Oh, that almost cost us, guys. Uh, we're gonna flare right up here. Wow, that stuff's just absolutely doing us in. Wow, wow, wow! That's some. Uh, <clears throat> it's doing a lot of damage. So we got the barrage off. Uh, kind of surprised we weren't able to do a little more damage there, guys. That was um, I, I was expecting to. I thought we were gonna have a pretty good chance at finishing it. Uh, let's see what the the chicken coop has to say. Anything yet? No. Um, so let's uh, let's go to the replay there and just see exactly what happened. Um, not a fail or anything. I mean, we're still in good shape to to finish it. Um, so we, we took out the rockets, um, I basically got them, uh, kind of where I wanted them to. I couldn't have parked them up behind the sniper towers because those flamethrowers would have been in range. 
Uh, I shouldn't have got hit by the shock launcher. That was dumb. That was a bit of a hashtag uh, chicken. Brr, brr, brr. But uh, that was inevitable, guys. That was inevitable. So yeah, we uh, we flared up there. I think it, I guess it was just getting hit by that sh the shock launcher the one time kind of ruined us because um, it didn't really kill a lot of the zookas, but it kind of uh, well obviously it just stopped them from shooting. This also wasn't good either. That was very close to the shock launcher firing that one zooka that stepped out right there. Luckily, he was taken down before the mortar or the the zooka, or excuse me, the the mortar or the or the shock launcher could fire. So what did we really get? To, so we got the the sniper towers out of the way. It seems like those uh, those boom cans really took a lot of them out, even though they can only fire every three and a half seconds. So it's not really a um, a huge thing you have to be worried about. The sniper towers, uh, I probably would have been okay to shock them. Now that I look back on it, uh, I probably should have done that and uh, and moved up a little more. I probably should, yeah, I probably should have shocked the the sniper towers. Moved up a little early. Um, I don't know though. Could have been worse for sure. Could have been worse. Not the greatest, but uh, it'll do for now. Huh? The chicken coop. Uh, the chicken coop didn't. Uh, I was expecting a little backlash on the chicken there. Okay, so we got this guy, uh, Majice in. Uh, hopefully he can uh, finish it out for us here. I'm assuming he's going to finish off the sniper towers first and then just kind of get grouped up right by the core on the left side there and kind of finish it off for us. I think the other base that we have left is going to be pretty easy too. Oh no, the rockets are in range right there. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So he needs to step back just a little bit. Yeah, that sucks. Kind of a crappy range for everything, eh? Oh, the mortar's right there too. Damn. So I guess we did need to we did need to clear a little bit more. I thought we had the pocket wide open, guys, but I guess not. Uh, he might be able to finish this. Uh, maybe no. It's still getting picked up by the boom cannons. That's gonna be too much. That's gonna be too much stuff there. Um, yeah, but I mean, depending on how much damage he, uh, he does get done here, we might be able to just do the same attack uh, a couple more times. So we've got the attacks for it. I mean, uh, if we do this again, like two more times, it's probably going to be it. And, uh, assembly, we just need, uh, someone to take out the grappler and then, uh, and then we, we're going to send the scorchers in. Uh, so for Hammerman today, just to let you guys know, I made it to stage 6, and I couldn't get past stage 6, so I'm definitely going to go back again to the double hot pots. The hot pot, damage amp, not cutting it, not cutting it, it's just not as good, straight up, not as good. Uh, so yeah, that's going to, well actually, I'm going, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to work some magic here, and you'll see me back in one second, bye and we're back guys so we got um i actually have no idea what's going on here i'm assuming we finished the last operation and we did so uh we'll get into that in a moment uh so i'm just gonna dive into one of these blind here well not blind i'm gonna i'm gonna try to scatter it a little 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 bit uh i don't like this one wow that one looks insane wow uh so no boomtown machina this one's usually really tough Depends how many rocket launchers we get on the left here. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Might be doable, guys. One, two, three, four. Okay, we, we might try Machina. We might try uh, Machina, Machina, whatever you want to call it. Like, don't, uh, don't judge me like that, guys. This one doesn't look too bad either, honestly. We got a pretty, uh... Pretty solid OP lineup here. Uh, let's try, uh, let's try Machina. Let's have a go. Let's, uh, let's have a go here, guys. Alrighty. So we're, uh, we're blasting right on in. I gotta clear all these mines first. That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be priority number one. Uh, okay, so we want to go like this. And I think I'm going to throw critters out. Uh, for the next part, okay, I'm gonna throw, okay, I'm gonna throw a load of critters right there, and then I'm gonna use specific artilleries. That should get all of them yet yeah, with the new critters. 
Okay, so we're going to place an artillery there. And we're going to put one right here. And then we're going to put one more uh, right there. Okay, so I think we're, we're looking all right here. We're looking all right, guys. Okay, so one, two, three... Four. Okay, so not going well so far. One, two, three, four. Smoke. You gotta be really careful with the smokes here. Okay. All right. So how's the how's the how are we looking here? I'm not sure exactly how this walk is gonna go. Um, am I gonna hit more mines? Ah, uh, shoot. Shoot. <laughs> oh, so much for that. God, I cleared so many freaking mines, too. That sucks. Whatever. We'll be able to see if we would have finished it. Uh, okay, so we're going to be shocking. One, two, three. Uh, it doesn't look like we would have had enough GB once we got there. The rockets would have eaten us anyways. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's that. <clears throat> There's that. Well, we we got the mines out of the way, which is uh, which is not nothing, guys. It's not nothing. Uh, so a little hashtag chicken fail. It's actually been, I want to say it's been a while since we had the last chicken fail. Uh, should we open up the chat here? Okay, brace yourself. Oh, here we go. Uh, you wear your critters make you lose rocket launcher delay. Uh, chicken, me not gonna clear any defenses, and one of our zoos from that pocket anymore. Chicken's not gonna clear. Yeah, also the rocket delay thing hurt him. Uh, I'm not sure what they're talking about the rocket delay, but, uh, we're gonna be loading up some warriors here. And, um, oh, we got another one. Let's we finish off the rocks. Oh, okay. Um, since we got the max boost, we might as well, do we have any player bases left, guys? Yeah, we got a couple. So since we got the max boost, we might as well, uh, since that attack wasn't uh, wasn't much to see. Uh, we're going to take out our hashtag chicken aggression on um, this guy. On, uh, I'm not sure what, how you would say his name. But, um, yeah, we're going to be blasting on up here. Blasting up. Back, 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 back. Okay. But yeah, I feel like it's been a while since we had like a really good chicken fail. So uh, for the <clears throat> the chicken fail specialists out there, I don't know what that means, but um, for you guys that enjoy them, uh, there's one for you. Hopefully, it was uh, mildly entertaining. It's definitely not as uh, frustrating as it used to be because um, it's not like as important that uh, that I finish it. Like it's not like it's not like make or break the entire operation. Uh, if I if I miss up mess up an attack, I've noticed lately there's a lot of um, like I'm, I'm getting a lot of bases with no ice uh, at around 900 VP, um, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, I'm okay with it uh, for sure, but uh, like <clears throat> I definitely prefer having like at least at least like half and a half, right? Like it's nice to get some easy bases now and then, but like if that's all of them, then it gets like really boring. Uh, we're not going to attack him, I guess. We'll get a level 48 resource base. Let's see if we can do this with just critters. Just critters, guys. Okay, bang, bang. Uh, bang, bang. And bang. Okay, so we're going to be crittering on out with the critters. And we'll see what we can get done here. It's definitely pretty hilarious when you can take out um, one of these bases with critters. Uh, it's pretty satisfying. I kind of wish the heal, the, the med kits worked on critters. Um, I guess that would make them like way, way too good though. Um, they might need a little help from the warriors here in a second. There, they've almost done it though. They almost did it. Go critters, go, go. Um, hmm. should we send in the warriors, guys? Yeah, we're gonna send in the warriors. 
They did a fantastic job, though. Like, just fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna lose a couple of the cans, but I don't really care. This is gonna be the last raid for, uh, for today, guys. And boom. Markup Jobson's resource base goes down. So yeah, I, I can, I can, um, if, if the resource base is like, it depends how, how it's laid out usually, but if it's, um, uh, if it's not all like sniper towers, rocket launchers, and mortars, usually you can, uh, get away with doing it with, um, with just critters. Hem, radar, come on now. Right back, back. Let's go here. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the operation attacks, um, wasn't the best ones on the chickens. We'll show some good ones of, uh, of uh, some other guys first. Um, okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what kind of good attacks we have here. So we got, uh, we got Chad on TechCrunch. I forget. What, I always forget what TechCrunch looks like. I'm not used to taking. I'm not used to seeing it. I mean. Okay, radar. We get it. We get it. You can quit. Tech crunch. Okay, so this one doesn't look too bad. Just get up, uh, get up on the left side, I guess, and then uh, all the rockets will be out of range and, and whatnot. Interesting walk though. I would have gone. I would have like stayed with the wall. I figured that would have been easier to uh, save GB. Obviously, it worked out though. So I think he's just gonna shock the two. Oh, the flamethrower got off. And yeah, once he gets the shock launcher, it's basically like high five. Um, like beefy shield but once you get to the left then uh it's gonna go down you just gotta uh you just gotta peck away at it and uh yeah what was the other one we had uh sicky on uh dredge dredge is kind of similar to um sheena um oh this is a weird one so yeah same thing go left clear the shock launcher and mortars and stuff and then, uh, and then, yeah, then it's basically, uh, then it's basically nothing can touch your Zookas. I guess he's doing it, I guess you have to do it a different way on this one, though, because the core's got so much more health. So one, two, three shocks needed, that's not bad. So you see now that he has to shock the Doom Cannon, like, that's just another reason, um, because, uh, they take out multiple targets now, another reason why they're annoying. Cost you a shock, cost you more, more Zookas. Okay, Mr. Radar, you've, uh, you've firmly made your point here. <clears throat> but yeah, so I think that's going to wrap it up for the, uh, for the operations today, guys. Um, wasn't the greatest on the chickens part, but, uh, that happens. That happens. I definitely have to, um, stop making the mistake of thinking that I need to go for, uh, for solos every time. That def definitely isn't the case anymore. Um, like they were kind of saying in chat there, I would have been better just to, uh, uh I would have been better just to take out, like, uh, like this section here, because then that saves the next guy's shock, and I mean, with 25 attacks and 6 bases, like, that's always going to be the better, uh, idea, um, rather than having two Zookas, uh, sit on it. And uh, he also said, I guess, with the new Zuke uh, pathing, that um, they all don't uh, they don't fit under the uh, under the core there. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for the uh, for the video today, guys. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for daily Boom Beach uploads. And we'll see you around in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Bye -bye.